I'm going to say it. The new Mac Mini is the best desktop that you can get right now, hands down. Before I get into this, if you want to keep up to date with all the latest Mac, iPhone, or Apple news, consider hitting that subscribe button. So Apple just released the long-awaited redesigned Mac Mini that's much smaller and much more capable than any Mac Mini before it. Plus, it keeps the same affordable price. Between Mac OS, the new design, and the performance, I will say it again, I'd argue that this is the best desktop that you can buy right now for the price. First, let's talk about the specs on this thing. You can get it with the M4 or the M4 Pro inside. This particular one I have in my hand is the M4 model. It starts with 16 gigs of memory and 256 gigs of storage. Apple has a lot of really nice touches here, like the fact that the power supply is built right into the body of the machine. The power connector is a standardized C7 port, and Apple provides a heightened braided cable in the box, but you can always replace it if it gets damaged. For ports, there are three Thunderbolt ports along the back, plus HDMI and Ethernet ports. If you opt for the M4 Pro version of this, you get Thunderbolt 5 ports. I did a whole video breaking down the difference on Thunderbolt 5, but it's insane. Up to 120 gigabits per second of data, which is up to three times that of Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. On the front of this, Apple has an additional set of USB Type-C ports plus a headphone jack. Now, yes, the power button is on the bottom, but dear God, is this a non-issue. It's so easy to hit that button, and frankly, it's way easier to hit than when it was on the back. So why is this thing so amazing? There's basically nothing else on the market like the new Mac Mini. It's incredibly powerful, beautifully designed, and has a bunch of the latest tech. Look at some of the things Apple does that others don't. The storage, for example, even on the base, is actually two modules. Using two modules results in far faster speeds than a single module, whether you're looking at the 256 gig base or more. It can read and write to both of them at the same time. The M4 is also nuts. I actually had so many people reaching out after my last video on the Mac Mini saying things like, oh, check out this PC, it basically has the same specs as the Mac Mini. But no, it sure does not. Okay, it has similar storage and memory, but they don't perform nearly the same, and that doesn't even touch on the processor. Apple's N4 gets like five times the multi-core performance of that puny Alder Lake N95 chip, and double the single core, which is what you'll notice for your usual daily tasks. Not to mention, the base M4 can handle three external displays, with two of those at 6K and one at 5K, while that $200 PC can do two 4K displays. I should also point out that plastic shell, external power supply, Wi-Fi 4, and Bluetooth 4. Come on. If we compare it to a more appropriately priced machine, like this one I found that's around 600, it's a similar story. That one still gets a slightly lower multi-core score and way lower single-core score. Plus, no Thunderbolt, and while it does do three displays, there's still only 4K. So a super similarly, similarly priced PC, and I'm just saying, I'd rather have the new Mac Mini. That's just on the entry level one. If you want something more powerful, the Mac Mini with the M4 Pro literally has a more powerful CPU than the M2 Ultra chip found in the Mac Studio and the Mac Pro. We're looking at roughly an average multi-core score of 22,100 for the M4 Pro compared to the M2 Ultra averaging around 21,300 for the multi-core. The GPU? Is another story, I mean 60 cores and that M2 Ultra, but still, come on. Now, I'm not saying that this thing is perfect, but it's very close. 256 gigs of storage, while well, plenty for most people, isn't a lot, and Apple's upgrades for it are very pricey. Luckily, it is a desktop computer, and I'm very comfortable just adding external storage if necessary. I do video work, so I have a ton of external storage. Then, there's the memory. Apple did just upgrade the base to 16 gigs, and there are still a lot of people who will balk at that. But it's important to remember that Apple treats its memory, memory different than Windows PCs do. Apple uses super fast unified memory that is shared across the CPU, GPU, neural engine, and more. There's no need for memory to be copied between dedicated CPU and GPU memories. Mac OS is also just more memory efficient than Windows. 
I'm not saying people can't benefit from added RAM, but I also can attest that the vast majority of users on the base model will be just fine with 16 gigs. My personal only criticism here is that there's no Wi-Fi 7. It's still Wi-Fi 6E. My iPhone is Wi-Fi 7. I want my Mac to be too. The only desktop that really comes close in terms of value and performance is the iMac. It too has an M4 option now and a sleek 4.5K display and includes the peripherals in the box. This is a great option for those that don't have a display or the peripherals already handy. So yeah, unless you're a Mac OS hater or a gamer that just needs access to PC games, which is understandable, the Mac Mini is, in my opinion, the best desktop that you can buy right now. Whether you're looking at the entry level or a tricked out M4 Pro model to rival the Mac Studio, let me know. I'm sure everyone's got their own thoughts down below in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.